Okay, my one year Bible reading out of the New Living Translation. Um, in the Old Testament, in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses 18 through 20, came across these verses. But don't be afraid of them. Just remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all the land of Egypt. Remember the great terrors the Lord your God sent against them. You saw it all with your own eyes. And remember the miraculous signs and wonders and the strong hand and powerful arm with which he brought you out of Egypt. The Lord your God will use this same power against all the people you fear. And then the Lord your God will send terror to drive out the few survivors still hiding from you. I hate bees. Yeah, not a fan at all. I know, I know they are essential for the ecosystem. They are pollinators helping in our food supply. They are part of God's creation, blah, blah, blah. None of that changes the way I feel about bees, wasps, and hornets, and all kinds of stinging insects. Yes, bees and wasps and hornets are different species, but in my mind, they're all bees. I don't like them. Not at all. I'm not afraid of snakes, spiders, rodents, but bees send shivers down my spine. I don't like bees. The worst of these would probably have to be the hornet. They're just mean. The northern giant hornet, also known as the Asian giant hornet or Japanese hornet, also, the murder hornet can be up to two inches in length. As big as a human thumb. Thankfully, they're not native here in Virginia. They haven't been found in Virginia yet. But they have been found in the upper northwest of the U.S. They're an invasive, invasive species. A single sting from the northern giant hornet can cause abdominal pain, a weak and rapid pulse, and a swollen tongue or lips. With a large number of stings, there can be failure of kidneys or multiple organs. Now that comes from the Washington State Department of Health where they've been found. You may be thinking, why this obsession with bees and hornets? These verses don't even mention them. Oh, but they do. In verse 20, the New Living Translation uses the word terror. But every other major translation, NIV, KJV, New King James, English Standard Version, Christian Standard Bible, New American Standard, every other major version uses the word hornet. That's right. Before entering the promised land, where the people were like giants, God told Israel not to be afraid of those people. The same power he used to deliver Israel from Egypt would be employed against the inhabitants of Canaan. Here's what he said. Moses said this, the Lord, your God, will send hornets to drive out the few survivors still hiding from you. Now, I don't know about you, but if God can command hornets to attack his enemies, I know which side I want to be on. Pray with me. Lord, you are a sovereign God. And oftentimes we find ourselves in circumstances where we are afraid. We are afraid of the things that we face. But God, you are infinitely powerful and able to solve any crisis 
and handle any situation if we would just trust you. You can even send hornets to drive people out of the land. So Lord, I know which side I want to be on. Yours. Help me to patiently rely on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.